Hi, this is Greg, and I'd like to talk to you about the difference between stocks and bonds, a very important question for all investors. Now, one of my subscribers, The Made Fresh Daily, uh, said this, I have been watching all of your videos and have recently subscribed. You cover key details in a simple manner that makes it entertaining and easy to understand. Good, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I was wondering if you could make a video regarding stocks versus bonds. In other words, the main differences between them in your investing and maybe an analysis of a bond that you prefer. Well, that's an excellent question. What is a bond? A bond is simply a loan to a company or the government. You buy a bond for a certain time frame and then they pay you interest over that time frame and afterwards repay the original loan at the end. Now, bonds are long-term loans, like for 30 years. Shorter-term periods are called notes that last maybe 5 to 10 years, whereas bills are very short-term, 30 days, 90 days, 60 days, etc., 6 months, something like that. Now, these are all under the heading of fixed income, and they call it that because you get a set amount of interest for your loan. Now you give them money, like a thousand dollars, and General Electric gives you a fancy piece of paper. Does that sound like a good deal to you? <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, bonds. What is the purpose of bonds in your portfolio? Well, what they do is they add stability because they're less volatile than stocks. The prices of bonds don't go up and down as much, okay? They're more stable. And that's good sometimes in a portfolio. The problem is they are a low risk, low return strategy. For example, as of Friday, October 4th, 2013, this is what uh, the interest rates were for uh, bonds. The five year bond was only paying 1.4%. So if you give someone or a company or the government $1,000 in a year or per year, you get $14 for your thousand dollars. You get that every year for five years. If you promise to hold it in there for 10 years, you get 2.65%. And if you promise to keep it in there for 30 years, you only get 3.73%. Now, that's not very good, but it's safe. And that suits the purpose of some investors. Now here's the problem with bonds you're not going to make much money. Now, generally, the uh, annual rate of inflation in the United States is around 2 to 4% per year. And what did I just show you? The current rates are even less than that. So, right now, you're losing money on bonds if you're holding them. Okay, that might be okay for a portion of your portfolio, but that's only if you want to add stability you will never get rich buying and holding bonds. Okay, so who would want to put a large portion of their portfolio in bonds? Well, it would be rich old men who are very rich and are mainly trying to preserve capital. Now this is the most interesting rich old man in the world and so uh, he's not trying to grow his money a lot, he's just trying to keep what he's got. Corporations and governments are sometimes the same way. Now, there's one time when it is a good deal to buy lots of bonds, a high portion of your portfolio in bonds, and that is when interest rates are really high. The time that really comes to mind is the late 1970s, when you could have bought the most safe uh, investment, which is federal uh, bonds, bought long-term bonds at rates of 14, 15% or higher. That would have been great. You could have held on to that and made a safe investment. Okay, They become relatively more attractive compared to stocks the higher the interest rates become. Okay, Now is that the case right now? Absolutely not. Interest rates are very low right now, kept artificially low by the Fed's bond buying program. That What that's doing is kind of making uh, stocks go up artificially and keeping bond prices low artificially, that's going to change at some point. They can't continue that forever, or there's going to be huge inflation at some point. Okay, But that's what's going on as of right now. 
October 2013. Now here's the most important thing I want you to understand. What I'm all about, what my company is all about, it's this. Stocks are more volatile than bonds and that is a good thing. That's great news. Because if you know the direction of a volatile stock, you're going to make a lot of money with it. Compared to an unvolatile stock that hardly moves at all, you want a volatile stock. In other words, a stock that's really going to go up fast. That is how you make a lot of money in the stock market. But you have to know which direction the market is going to go. That's a critical point. You have to know that or else you could lose a lot of, a lot of money instead of make it. Okay, if you can know when the market is likely to go up, that is how you can make a lot of money. That's how Warren Buffett does it. That's how anybody does it. Okay, now if you know when stocks are likely to go up versus when they're getting too expensive and too risky and it's time to sell, well then if you can identify the difference between those two, it makes all the difference in the world between getting rich and getting poor fast in stocks. That is what we teach at Market Timing University. We teach you how to time the markets. In other words, we teach when it's the right time to buy and when it's right time to sell to maximize great profits. In the past five years, I tripled my retirement account largely from the gains of one stock, Priceline.com. Now, if my timing was just a little bit better, I could have done better. Uh, but still, tripling your money in five years, it's not too bad. Not too shabby at all. You can do that actually at least three times uh, once per decade. You could have done that easily in the last 15 years, done it twice in the last 15 years, if only you knew how to time the markets. Because you could have done it from 2003 to 2007 and from 2009 to 2013. You could have more than tripled your money twice if you knew how to time the markets and knew which stocks to buy. That's what we teach at Market Timing University. Come check out the website, markettiminguniversity.com. Read the blog, learn more about the stock market, and be prepared to find the courses that will soon be available. All right, look forward to seeing you there. I hope that this video taught you something. And as far as the difference between which bonds I like to buy, um, I don't really care because the difference in interest rates is so tiny compared to what you can make in stocks if you buy and sell at the right time. Okay, this is Greg Kilpag, uh, president of MarketTimingUniversity.com. Come to my website. Look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.